All right, so I've remade my candle cost calculator and this version is easily the best one that's out there. And I'm gonna go over absolutely every single detail in this video. Hello everyone, I'm Jeff Stanley with Stanley Handcrafted and welcome to basically part two of the calculator kind of series, I guess, uh, of videos that I'm doing. You just saw the recent one that I did of the fragrance load calculators. And today we're gonna go into the candle cost calculator, which I've redone. Now I've had this one up on my other website, stanleyhandcrafted.com for several years. It's done really well, uh, but it was definitely missing a few things, which is why I wanted to go through and update and put a new version out there. And along with the new version, I've added a lot of features, which I think the makers out there, you guys are really gonna like. And I'm gonna go through, jump over on the computer again, and I'm gonna show you exactly what this calculator does and all the new features that I've added to it. And I, of course, have links to all of this stuff in the video description down below. I'm gonna go ahead and put it right here. And then, of course, if you click below the video, in the video description, you'll see all the links to the fragrance load calculators, the candle cost calculator that I'm gonna show you, and, of course, the candle math sheets that are free on the website. So definitely jump over there, click on the links, download those, uh, go through the videos, go through the calculators, and let me know what you think. And I did mention it in the last video, and I'm going to mention it again Then this one. There's still maybe about a week and a half to two weeks before the next candle session. It is a four-hour online Zoom session where we go through and talk about all things candles. So if you want to be involved in that session, there are still tickets left. So go ahead and click the link in the video description down below again, and then jump over and grab a ticket for that one, and we'll see you guys there. And of course, the date for that one is June 11th. That's gonna be a Saturday. And it's basically, and it basically turns into a four hour long Q&A kind of networking session with a bunch of different candle makers. They're actually a lot of fun. And we go over a ton of information on there and everybody learns a great deal, especially from the networking side of things. Uh, people in there just bouncing questions and ideas. Uh, it, it really brings up a lot of questions and ideas and thoughts that you just wouldn't get from a normal Q&A session or, a, or an online coaching session, which is more like a one-on-one. -on -one. But let's go ahead and jump into this one. I'm gonna go ahead, I've got the website pulled up. I'm gonna go through and show you exactly how to go through this thing and talk about some of the features that have added to the cost calculator. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and jump over here. Uh, you're gonna pull up, you're gonna pull up West Sound Candle Supply. And again, if you come over to the Learn section, we're gonna come down to Candle Cost Calculator. <clears throat> We're gonna let this thing load. And this has pretty much everything that you can think of from the wax, the wicks, the vessels, labels. Uh, and the one thing, or one of the, the good things that I did add with this one is an additional slider down here for adding things like electricity, travel, uh, if you're adding like ribbons or something like that, if you're adding candle dyes, uh, this slider down here will let you and again, I'll get down to this one in a second, but it will let you add in some extra costs like that, which I did not have in the original cost calculator. <clears throat> so at the very basic level, this is just a material cost calculator. And the reason I have the materials in here that I do is because th these materials are gonna be the same for everyone. Uh, if you're going through a website like West Sound Candle Supply or any of the ones that are out there, the jars, across America, if you buy wax from West Sound Candle Supply, uh, it's gonna be the same price. Your shipping is gonna be different, and I do have a block down here so that you can add your own shipping costs. But these costs through here are not gonna change. If you buy HTP Wix from my site or Candle Science site or Nature's Garden or anything like that, the price for those wicks, wax, oils, or anything like that are gonna be the same. So these costs are fixed, they're not gonna change. So we're gonna go ahead and we're just gonna add in some basic costs through here. So we're gonna call wax $100, call it 45 pounds, and you can already see it calculates it out to $2.22 a pound or 14 cents per ounce. So we're gonna come down to vessels. I will get $36. We'll call it 12 vessels. Come down to the wicks and we're going to, let's say it's $12 for a pack of 100. And I do have another thing over here which a user in the DIY Facebook group suggested and that is adding multiple wicks. Now the default is gonna be one wick, which is gonna be normal for probably most of the candles that people are checking out on this. So for now, we're gonna go ahead and leave that at one uh, and then we'll change that later so that you can see the cost difference. Now we're gonna come down to fragrance oil and we're gonna charge, or we're gonna put in $20 for 16 ounces. And you can see that it calculates it to about $1.25 per ounce. And then the lids, it's gonna be about $29. 
I think it's 144 for the bag that I usually get. So we're looking at 20 cents a lid. We're gonna come down to labels. Uh, I usually just go through Avery, which are about $18, about 225 labels, which calculates to about eight cents per label. And down here is where we're gonna go through and you can put in exactly how big your candle is. So let's go ahead and call this candle 10 ounces. We're gonna jump over here and we're gonna use 8% and you can see all the totals changing every time we add something. We're gonna call it 8% oil load. And then for shipping, if I was to get all this stuff from the same website, let's go ahead and call it $150 in shipping. And it's gonna average that out across all of the products individually. So you can see right now, and I haven't gone down to the very bottom of this one, but your total material cost per candle is $7.32. And then I've added some other things in this one, like your wholesale price, if you were gonna take these candles and sell them wholesale to a local boutique, this is what your cost would be. Now, now wholesale cost is usually material cost times two. So you're gonna go up $14.63 and then, and if you notice, it doesn't actually go, uh, now there's some rounding involved here. So the $7.32, it's probably just under that, which is why it's calculating 732 instead of 731.5 or six or something like that, which is why you see $14.63. So it was probably averaging or rounding on this one, so it went up a little bit. Because of course, 732 times two is gonna be 1464. So that's why you're seeing the difference right there. It's just a calculator in the background doing some rounding. And it's rounding up on one and rounding down on another. And then of course, if you go over to your retail price, you can see that it's 29.27. So if you made a candle that cost you around $7.32, you'd probably wanna sell that for around $30 to, and that's your typical uh, retail price, which is cost times four. And then of course, on the other side over here, I've got some new sections for profit. Uh, the wholesale profit, obviously you're just doubling it, so you're looking at $7.32 profit for a wholesale candle. And then of course, if you sold that candle retail, you're looking at a profit of $21.95. Now here's where we're gonna change it just a little bit more. So uh, like I said, this calculator at the very base just calculates material cost. And the reason I added this one as a slider is because these things are different for everybody. So if you're doing private label, white label, people usually charge a little bit more and that could be anywhere from 50 cents to a dollar depending on the person, very personal preference type thing. If you're doing things like calculating your time spent and your electricity, those are, those are also other things that are gonna be wildly different from user to user. So me being up in Washington, if I make 100 candles in a month, it could cost me anywhere from 25 cents to 50 cents. Uh, to make that candle with that electricity. If I'm down in say, California, uh, it could be 75 cents to a dollar to make that same amount of candles. So this is why I put the slider in here so that people can play with this one a little bit. Add everything you want in there. So if you think it's gonna cost you about a dollar per candle to do everything, your travel, driving around, your gas, your time, electricity, you'll go ahead and add that in here and it'll affect these down below. And the very last thing that I added in here is going to be your cost and profit for making multiple candles. So once you get your base cost, you're gonna come down here and you're gonna look at your cost and profit for multiple candles. So once you get your base, $8.32, if you're making one of those candles, you're gonna get the exact same numbers going across. So it, let's bump that up, we'll call it 10 candles. It's gonna give you your material cost for those 10 candles, your total profit for wholesale and your total profit for retail. Let's go ahead and add 100 in there. So if you got a large order, this is what you'd be looking at for profit as far as wholesale and retail. And then of course, the very last on this one, we're gonna go back through and we're gonna type in, let's call this a three wick candle. And you're gonna see down here, it's gonna go from $8.32 to $8.56 because we're adding two more wicks at 12 cents each. And then of course these should accommodate anything. I know one of the changes I made in the last day is going to be vessels. So somebody had one vessel and they, let's call it 25 cents. 
So it does take into account uh, amounts less than a dollar. It didn't do that before, so I had to go through and fix that. So if you do have something in there and you've only got like maybe one pound of wax or one vessel or maybe 10 wicks, uh, it does accommodate any number like that. And that is pretty much it with the calculator. All right, so that's pretty much it with the candle cost calculator. There are still some things I'd like to go through and update. Uh, if you see anything in that that you'd like to change, or like I said in the last video, if there's something on there that I could add or take away or make a little bit uh, easier to understand, please let me know in the comment section down below. If there's anything additional that you'd like to see added to that calculator, please let me know what you'd like to see and I'll go through and see if I can add that to the website also. But like I said, I think this is one of the nicest calculators out there. Uh, I spent the last couple of years listening to a lot of the feedback on the first calculator that was out there and I went ahead and added a lot of that stuff that people wanted to see mainly the cost and profit for multiple batches and of course the slider for adding things like your time spent your hourly wages your electricity gas travel anything like that which of course is going to raise the price on your candles considerably depending on what you're doing and what materials you're using so i hope that was helpful if you liked the video please give it a thumbs up it helps with the youtube algorithm and of course subscribe to the channel and we'll see you in the next video